Hey there, this is Emmanuel with Funtown RV, and today we're going to be doing a full walkthrough of the Sanibel 3102 RSWB. This is going to be our wide body edition of the Sanibel. Come take a look. Up front, we're going to have our blue docking lights, which provides lighting in the darkness whenever you're hooking up to your truck, and it's just a nice feature to have. We're also going to have a large storage compartment here in the front that can store whether it's a battery, a spare tire, you have plenty of room for whatever you might need. Down here we're going to have our auto level panel as well as a solar charge in case we want to add some additional solar power to this unit here. Coming alongside this beautiful Sanibel we're going to have a large awning. We're going to have two awnings. This is going to provide lots of extra space and a protection from the elements whenever we're out camping with the family with the friends, whatever it might be. And here, we're gonna have a few features that I want y'all to pay attention to. We're gonna have the standard uh, doggy leash connection here, so that way your furry friends can hang out with you outside, as well as some of the best storage space you're gonna see on a camper this size at this price point. Look how massive that is. It is also gonna be completely heated, uh, so if during those winter months, if you wanna keep that undercarriage a little bit warmer, uh, if you have any cargo here that needs to be uh, protected from the elements, maybe below freezing, this is gonna be a perfect feature to have in those cases. We're also gonna have our solid steps here. It's gonna be four steps, uh, very easy to adjust the height of the feet at the bottom of these steps here, and also will tuck into the camper nicely. Now that we covered some of the awesome features on the outside of the Sanibel, let's go inside and take a look. Cool, now we're inside the Sanibel and I want you guys to check out the awesome features that this line does provide. They go above and beyond to make all the features here residential looking and feel just like home. Uh, first thing I want to point out is a freestanding table and chairs. This table does fold in so if we're not eating or not using this table, it's going to free up that space here uh, to be a seating area. We're also going to have a large fridge and a best-in-class pantry. Take a look at the space in the pantry. This is awesome. You don't get to see this too often in a camper at this size at this price point. Super cool. We're also gonna have our Insignia microwave here as well as our Insignia uh, stove top as well. This is gonna be a four burner stove which is very, very impressive, very nice to have. Moving into the living room, uh, this is also gonna be a few cool features that I want you guys to pay attention to. Uh, the first of which being uh, our television here. Our television is retractable. So in those moments when we're having friends over and we're having uh, maybe a Thanksgiving dinner or we're having a cookout, we wanna retract the TV and spend time with the family. And uh, we have the additional counter space here. We're also gonna have our Furion stereo right here. This is gonna control uh, the speakers on the interior and the exterior of the camper. Down below that, we're also gonna have our Furion uh, heater as well. This is going to be a fireplace, light up to have a beautiful ambient light. Or if you want to really crank up the heat in here, this is more than capable of heating up the space in this camper. We're also going to have here a pullout bed as well. This is going to sleep two to three uh, very comfortably. So that's one feature that is really exciting to have uh, as well as the blackout shades. As you can see, that retract into this trim so that way when they're out of sight, they're also out of mind. And here we're gonna have our reclining sofas as well. They have our cup holders that do light up, so that way when you're in here in the dark, watching a movie theater style, uh, you can still know exactly where to put your drink and you won't have any accidents there. And coming up our steps here, we're gonna have our restroom here to the side. This is gonna be in between our living kitchen area and the master bedroom. Uh, the, the few features that I wanna point out are the large shower with the sliding door, as well as a bowl style sink right here. Super nice, gonna hold plenty of water in there for washing your face, uh, brushing your teeth, whatever you're gonna have to do in there. And uh, the style I wanna point out continues, uh, the interior, the trim colors continue through as you walk through the camper, which is a beautiful touch for those that wanna have a residential feel in their camper. And here we have our private bedroom. This is gonna be one of my favorite features of this unit being that the style is very simple, and, but also very elegant as well. We have that same trim color on our dresser here in the front to offer additional clothes storage. 
We're gonna have a beautiful padded headboard at the front, surrounded by windows for whenever we wanna let the lighting in, but also blackout shades for whenever we wanna keep it nice and dark and cool inside this master bedroom. Uh, we are gonna have mirror doors, so that way whenever you're putting on your outfit, putting on your clothes, you can make sure that you still look as dapper as ever. And another large closet where you can choose to have a washer and dryer installed as well. So that's gonna be a great feature to have an additional clothes rack too. Guys, make sure to like, follow, and share. And remember, the fun starts here.